how do you figure out a pattern? Our learning goal today is to learn to recognize and continue number patterns. In grade four, you learned there were three kinds of patterns, a repeating pattern, a growing pattern, and a shrieking pattern. Let's look at a different pattern. Five, seven, eight, 10, 11, 13. What kind of pattern is this? Is it a growing pattern, a shrieking pattern, or a repeating pattern? So we're looking at the numbers, and you're going to notice the numbers are always going up. So right away we know it's a growing pattern. And now we have to figure out what we already know in order to create the pattern and continue it. So we know 5 to 7 is plus 2. And then we know from 7 and 8, well, that's plus 1. So then we have to now look at between 8 and 10. What is it? Again, it's plus 2. So then we look over here between 10 and 11. We notice it's plus one. So we're figuring out this pattern's a growing pattern, but not in a typical way. Plus two, then plus one. Plus two, then plus one. So this pattern has now emerged and it's your turn. Can you figure out what the next three terms are going to be? Pause the video, write down your answers, and then check in when you're ready to continue. Did you get them right? Here is another number pattern. Two, three, five, eight, 12. First of all, you should notice that the numbers are all going up. So you notice again that it's a growing pattern. So now we've got to figure out what kind of pattern is this? So we look at the two and we look at the three and we realize it's going up by one. So right away we know between two and three is plus one. Then we look at the three and we look at the five and we have to think, what are they going up by? And it's probably pretty obvious to you that it's plus two. Okay, so we know here's plus one, here's plus two. What happens here? Is it plus one again or is it something else? Five and eight. Hmm. Five, six, seven, eight, plus three. Different pattern this time. Plus one, plus two, plus three. So in your head, you're predicting what would the next one be, and you want to see if you're right. So make your prediction, figure out if you're right, and check it. So we have these pattern, these numbers. Your turn to figure out what are the next three terms. Check your answers, compare them with mine, see if you got it right. What about this pattern? One, five, four, eight, seven, eleven, ten? Hmm, that one's different. So what kind of pattern is this? A growing pattern, a shrinking pattern, or a repeating pattern, or a combination? So it's a growing and a shrinking pattern. So let's time to figure it out. So we look at one to five. Well, that's plus four, because we know one plus four is five. Five to four? Hmm, that's going backwards, so that's a takeaway. So minus one. Now four to eight. Okay, so you know how to do that, so you know it's plus four. So then you're taking your guess. Is it gonna be minus one again or something different? So the pattern is definitely emerging, plus four, take away one, plus four, take away one. Then you wanna check it on your own to see if you're right, if it continues. After you've decided that you're comfortable with the number pattern, I want you to continue for the next three numbers. So pause the video, write down the next three numbers that you think it'll be, and then check it with the next slide where the answer is. Was it the answers you predicted? So now it's your turn to make up a pattern and see if a friend, a sibling, or a parent can figure it out. Have fun.